Hi everybody, I hope you're doing well. It's Mark here from Friendship Shaving and even though you can't see me, I've got something I'd like to show you today. Have you ever wondered how to get into a Gillette blade dispenser? Well, it occurred to me that perhaps you've got an empty one and you'd like to put the correct blades in there or like me, perhaps you'd like to see the date of the blades that are in there to see if they are the right ones for your razor set. So I've got a 1956 number 59 made in England super speed set. Do you like my little stick to point with? This let me move that out of the way. This was the dispenser that I had in there. And I couldn't see what year the blades were. Now I've taken it apart and I've actually discovered, and I don't know if you'll be able to see, but here the blade is dated Z3. And I know that is 19. 54. So it is the wrong date for my 1956 set. So I'm just going to show you how I took that apart using this American dispenser set here. And perhaps it will be useful to you. So the top of the case is actually a piece of metal. There are some little sprung pieces of metal on the inside designed to hold the blades tightly in place. On the underneath of the case there's also another little piece of metal and you can see it on this one. It's where you slide in your used razor blades. And the bottom of the case itself is plastic and you can see it holds the blades and the blades are concertinaed. Now sometimes the blades, because of course when you've got a set, the easiest way often is to just slide a blade out. But because the blades are oiled and sometimes have been sat there for maybe 50 years, the oil causes them to stick together. So sometimes you'll get a set and you won't be able to shift the blades out. Well, I thought I'd just show you how I took this set apart and the tools you might need if you're going to do it. What I've got is, I think it's called a little spudger. It's designed to be used for an iPad mini or something like that. And you can buy them on the internet for a few pence. It occurs to me that a guitar pick would do exactly the same thing. It is tapered this way and of course this way as well. I'm also going to use my little stick. Um, if you have a woman in your household, perhaps she uses one of these for her fingernails. But it comes in handy. Anyway, I'm going to turn my pack over and tell you that underneath this metal edge where it folds over the plastic there's a plastic rim along here except for a space about here and about here on both sides so what I'm going to do is take my spudger pop it into that little fold there about where the gap is and push it in and slide it along and to get that going is as simple as that now what I'm going to do is just slide in my stick just to stop that closing up again when I take off the other side once I've got to this part I can maybe work out that little plate there 
is just held in place by the edge of this folded piece of metal from the front cover and you can see it there. So now I've got a bit of space to work with I can do exactly the same thing on the other side turn it over to at least try and keep the razor blades in their slot and do be careful they are sharp they were put in this dispenser on the day that they were made and they are as sharp now as they were then now this set is an American set and the date is H1 so I know that that is 1962 my year of birth is 1963 and that is the uh, letter I and they're no good to me I don't have an American set at the moment that they would fit in but at least I know that they are H1 1962 when that sits on you can't actually see the lettering to put it back together is all very easy just going to put that on the underside put that on the top press it all down and press it together at the sides and there we are it's uh, been taken apart and it's been put back together numerous times I wouldn't recommend doing it too often because you will get marks in the paint and the plastic down on this edge but from the front it will still look okay now by complete chance I had a new pack of blue Gillette razor blades sealed I very carefully opened the bottom of the packet slid out my dispenser and can you see by chance the blade has been slid forward and I can see the letter B. I can't see the quarter of the year that these were produced but that is 1956. Now even though it's been in the box the dispenser does need a little bit of a wipe but that now luckily is the right blade dispenser for my 1956 super speed number 59 set which is made in England so I was quite lucky there and now I have to look at all my other sets I did notice on this one that those blades as I talked about earlier are completely stuck together now I'm gonna leave that as it is I'm not going to take them apart and free those blades because I can see the letter B that's enough for me to know and for anyone else should I ever sell this on which I doubt very much that that is the right year for this set that's my lot I hope this has proved useful to you and uh, well I'll see you soon take care all the best and please subscribe if you haven't cheers